Selling a home? Buying a home? Yes, you need a realtor. It's not a question of whether you need one or not. Yes, you need a realtor. And today I'm sharing the most important reasons why. It's J-Dub, Global Real Estate Advisor and now Mr. Downtown Delray, where I work for eXp Realty, the fastest growing virtual real estate brokerage in America today, and I specialize in downtown Delray Beach. It's where I live. Of course, I help buyers and sellers all throughout Palm Beach County, from West Palm Beach all the way south to Boca Raton, but I've always believed that specializing can only benefit you, my audience, because a very small market, and I know it very well. So if you want to get more information about all things Delray Beach, and of course things throughout Palm Beach, go ahead and do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Give me a fist pump, give me a shaka, give me a heart, give me something. Let me know you're out there and let's get social. And if you have never seen my video about this one cocktail bar in Delray Beach who gives back to their employees during the hard times, the dark days of, of coronavirus, I got a video up here for you to take a look at there. You're gonna to wanna to learn all about those folks. But today I wanna to talk about a very important subject. I've been in real estate for over 25 years, going back to the mid 90s. And I've always heard this, whether I was an investor or a broker or a master franchiser. And the question is, do I, meaning do you, need a realtor? Emphatically, the answer is yes. And today I wanna to talk about that. So let's start. Number one is representation. Without an agent, there's a very high probability that the person on the other side of the table has an agent and their number one job is to take your lunch and they will do that. So representation is very important. You need someone who's gonna support you, that will act as a confidant, someone that's gonna guide you through the whole process because that's what they do every day in their career. You, on the other hand, probably don't know the latest techniques or just don't understand what representation is about. So I can't tell you how many times a customer comes in with a goal in mind and they get lost throughout the shuffle because there's so many things going on and what ultimately happens is, is they lose focus. An agent's job is to keep you focused and on track at all points of the process. Number two is the law. Those three letters are very important. You see, navigating yourself through all the contracts and addendums and appraisals and all this stuff that if you don't do these things on a regular basis, these laws and contracts are changing all the time. And you don't want to be on the bad side of not understanding that. You see, doing a real estate contract is done by contracts. So if you are not understanding which contracts to you know, fill out at certain times and the addendums, and if something goes wrong, if someone doesn't perform, what document you need to fill out to send to whom on certain times, there's a lot of time and dollar factors that go into this. And if you're not on top of that, the last thing you wanna do is have a contract go bad and all of a sudden mediation comes into play and the law gets involved that's something you don't want to have happen. Number three is value. So agents understand what the competitive valuation of a property is. They take a look at the square footage price, but they also look at the market as a whole. So when a new property hits the market, they take a look at the price, they look, take a look at the competitive square footage price for that area, but then they also get on the inside and see maybe what upgrades have happened to the property, what is the owner invested in that might create additional value. Unlike third-party sources that have valuation metric kind of built into their system, they don't have the ability to look inside a property and give a real acute, give a real specific valuation uh, methodology. So by having a realtor on your side, for a seller who's gonna to try to get more value or for a realtor on the buyer's side trying to get a cheaper price value, both agents, both realtors are working the market to give you the best valuation of the property to help make a transaction go smoothly. Number four are referrals. Imagine us realtors, we're in this business 40, 50, 60 hours a week, where unlike buyers and sellers who are just trying to come in and buy or sell a home. We know inspectors, we know electricians, we know roofing companies, we know plumbers, we know um, anybody to help with the process, handyman, you name it. We all carry a, a Rolodex of people that we've done business with 
on a frequent basis and it comes into play, it comes in very valuable information for both sellers and buyers when you're transacting. So in terms of ease of use and efficiency, we've got this stuff in our hand. Number five is pocket listings, or we like to use the term inside information. I don't want to use that the wrong connotation, but you know, a lot of agents, we work within certain network groups. We work together, whether we're competitors or colleagues within the same brokerage, but we're constantly talking. We're always at coffee, uh, coffee places, we're at you know, happy hours, we're talking with industry professionals. And most of us, the good ones, have information that might not be in the MLS, deals that weren't recorded, or specifically, you know, properties that are coming onto the market in the next couple days or week or month, or they know something's happening where we can get dialogue going. So getting pocket listing and information that you don't find out on other sources, it's a great reason why you want to have a realtor. Number six are emotions. Buyers have emotions, sellers have emotions, but realtors don't. We're neutral. I can't tell you how many times in California, in Delray, and in Costa Rica where a seller said, just bring the buyer to my house and let me have coffee or dinner with them and I'll sell them the house. But what ultimately happens is they talk about things they shouldn't be talking about. They talk about the leak, they talk about the repair that's been there for a long time, da 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 and they ultimately give away thousands, tens of thousands of dollars of negotiating skills that can help them get the better value. Same thing on the buyers. Buyers come in and they say, oh honey, this is perfect. At whatever price I've got to have this pool with the view, with everything, da 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 da. And they ultimately lose on the negotiation. So having a realtor in the middle representing both of you folks, leave out the emotions. It's very important. And lastly, coming in at number seven are statistics. According to the NAR, the National Association of Realtors, sellers specifically end up selling for between eight and 10% less than they would had they used a Realtor. It's incredible. So for sellers who are thinking they can do it themselves, there's so many things that go on in a transaction that they don't think about that they're not paying attention to. And ultimately they just don't understand that leaves tens of thousands of dollars. So if you're selling your house for $400,000, that's forty to fifty thousand dollars statistically that you're not going to be able to realize by not having a realtor on your side. So imagine that if you're thinking about saving money, like the three percent commission on four hundred thousand dollars is twelve grand, but it's ultimately going to cost you forty or fifty thousand dollars by not using that realtor. You are losing money, statistically speaking. Stick with a the realtor; they're going to make you money. Today's video really comes from my heart. I've been doing this for a long time and I've seen both buyers and sellers make so many mistakes over the years. Today we're just the top seven that I could think about that right away I could just throw this video in there and get it to you this week. It's really, really important. I've seen tens of thousands of dollars on both sides of transaction be just kind of tossed away for thinking they've got the solution, for thinking they know how to do it best. I've been an investor for 25 years, buying homes, buying land, buying this island I've talked about in, in Panama. I've been an investor, I've done lots of transactions, I've been a broker and a realtor for also, you know, two dozen years. I've seen so many people lose their pants by not using a realtor. So I hope I've convinced you today that yes, you do need a realtor. And if I've done that, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up, give me a smack, give me a chaka. And make sure you come back next week for the next video. I'll see you next time.